Welcome back to part 49 of Oblivion, an SP Let's Play on the Xbox 360. In the last part, I finally gained access to the Arcane University and managed to enchant my some of my equipment, all of my available equipment, into forms that will improve my combat prowess. I am now constantly moving east by southeast through the Gerald Mountains in order to locate the Blind Moth Shrine, even though it's not my freaking objective right now. What I really wanted to have happen was that I would run into the Shrine of Azura, the red marker on my map is indicating is directly indicating the Modern Heretics book that was on Martin Septim's uh, owl on his on his table on his reading desk. They really wanted me to read the book just so I would know where the Shrine of Azora was. They especially wanted me to locate the Shrine of Azora. That is probably the Shrine of Azora in the distance. Oh my God! I am actually really glad that I've discovered this finally. I've got to keep my torch out. Got to keep the torch out. Got to keep moving. So that is, that, is, that is the marker that they use to indicate all of the Daedric Shrines. I'm going to uh, jump down, maybe take some falling damage, because in this game, freaking falling damage allows you to improve your character. That is a bear. The bear is running for me. I must kill the bear. The bear. Die. Ow. You did a lot of damage. Ah, uh, fucking brown bear. Ah, you son of a bitch. Yeah. All right, come on. Yeah. I might be about to die. Let's start running. I am running now. That bear is that bear is a relentless pursuer, but I don't Oh, that's that's the blind moth shrine up ahead. That's the monastery. I gotta recover my health first, Mr. Bear. Give me a break, Mr. Bear. I love you, Mr. Bear. Look at how cuddly he is. I'm gonna slash the crap out of him now. Uh, I am doing relatively low damage. I forgot that brown bears actually don't start appearing until your level gets decently high. I am about to die. I need to take a potion right now in order to stop from dying. Uh, two potions. Uh, you missed me, Mr. Bear. Go screw yourself. I'm going to recover my health just a little bit more. Magicka apparently is giving me a decent number of uses of restoration magic. I really wish this bear would stop freaking just automatically staggering me because I can't defend myself when he staggers me. Oh crap, that is a glow dust. Uh, that is a will of the wisp. I need to move away from that will of the wisp before he notices me and starts chasing me. This is a relatively bad situation. It's a relatively bad situation because there's also an oblivion gate over there. Uh, which might have enemies that start attacking me because the enemies that spawn from Oblivion Gates stray somewhat far from the Oblivion Gates at times. I'm going to head to the Monastery first before heading to the Shrine of Azura because this is farther away and I can just I can just double back. There's something following me. That is a mountain lion. That is a mountain lion. Mountain lion's chasing me. Mountain lion's successfully hitting me. T Temple of the Ancestor Moths. Yay. I am going to start moving back towards the Shrine of Azura uh, using using the Mountain Lion's freaking relentless attacks in order to level up my restoration skill. I have a lot of restoration uses now that my Magicka has increased thanks to the enchantments that I got in the last part. My torch did not just go out. Mountain Lion is still chasing me, but I don't want to turn around to fight the Mountain Lion just yet. That fucking, that fucking Mountain Lion is probably going to stagger me when it hits me. I found the Shrine of Azura, but now a bunch of the guys over here are probably just going to start uh, trying to kill the Mountain Lion like I am right now. Here comes the boom. And it's dead. I did it. I am. I'm very close to death, but that's okay because I did this not disturb any sick. of the people here. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. Dude, privacy respected, you guys. In other words, I just don't want nothing happens. Cool. I have to approach. I have to talk to you. You guys are rather impolite. Don't make me kill you. You guys also are not... M Mel's Marion is unconscious. Mel's Marion must be the essential uh, attendant to the shrine. Oh, god damn it. This, uh, the glow dust must... The, yep, the glow dust knocked him out. I gotta kill this thing. This thing is... This thing actually does very very little damage to me because glow... Uh, what, what do you call it? Will the Wisp only use magic attacks. So that's a mountain lion. That is a clouded funnel cap. Where is the guy who I actually need to talk to in order to prompt the Azura's quest line? I'm going to keep restoring my Magicka so that my restoration skill goes up. I'm really glad that in this game you don't have to be in constant combat in order to improve your magic skills. These are dark times, and people's minds My business is to proceed the story. Unless you can persuade me of your good intentions. We'll see. 
What a thought. This is the show. Oh, okay. What do, you, what do you want? You want money? Yeah, you're you're a real noble soul. What is your business here, traveler? If you wish to speak to the lady, visit her shrine. I wish to summon Azura. Leave her an offering of glow dust, and perhaps she will deign to speak with you. I'll be here. I actually forgot about that part. Which is really convenient that there's glow dust right over. Oh god damn it, please tell it it rolled down the hill, didn't it? Oh no. Did did I did did I pick up the glow dust? I need I, I forgot that I have to make an offering of glow dust. I did not pick up the glow dust. This kinda sucks. Um mind you, you can get glow dust from anywhere. Now that I've discovered the shrine, I could easily just fast travel to the uh, Imperial Market District. That is the glow dust right there. Thank you for glow dust. And now I have to wait until 6 a.m. because it's nighttime right now. And uh, yes, uh, so I have to wait two hours. Simple, simple, simple. Meet the condition, make the offering, and listen to the thing. Many years ago. Five followers slew the vampire Dratic and its kin, but all are infected by the foul creature. And knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their suffering weighs heavily on them. Travel to the gutted mine. The door will open to you. Bring the peace of death to my followers, and you shall earn my gratitude. Uh, yes, make this my active quest. When Azora was summoned, she told me that the tale of her followers who trapped themselves in that gutted mine. She wishes me to find them and kill them, releasing them from their vampiric existence. Azora will unseal... Will unseal the mine so I may enter. Where... Okay, so it, it's, it's my active quest, so it's right up ahead. Beautiful. Let's go do it. I'm gonna kill that wolf up ahead. I wanna kill things. I wanna... I wanna swing... My sword at valid targets to improve my blade skill. Boom, it's dead. Getting more magicka. There's something about this game that makes leveling up my skills particularly addictive. Maybe it's just that I like, you know, just, just like, you know, a lot of people who play RPGs, improving the character is pretty satisfying. I like improving my character. I like, I like any cues that tell me that I'm doing something right. But unfortunately, in this game, just like in Skyrim, there's a lot of bullcrap you can do just to level up your skills pretty quickly, even beyond what the game intended you to level up in the first place. Here's the gutted mine. Let's go in and kill things. Let's go in and kill things. Just like I want to do, as much as humanly possible, provided that I also don't die in the process. It's very dark. Now I have a torch, I can see. I have a feeling that this darkness is gonna. Okay, well at least I have some light over here. These guys don't seem to have. Oh god damn it! This guy. She has a really powerful weapon. Uh, I am in trouble. I might be in trouble. I am gonna lure her attacks. I'm probably gonna have to use a lot of potions, especially evading her power attacks. As to I am about to die. I need to use potions. I need to. I need to use potions that restore my health, like a bunch of weak potions. Exit the screen. Take some more healing potions, and then use, uh, I'm gonna use this 20 to, what? Okay, now I can use it. 27% shield. I have a lot of damage resistance. Yay. I need to kill one of these things. These guys have a lot of health. These guys also deal a lot of damage. I have contracted porphyric hemophilia. How the, hey, wait a second. I thought, I thought that I can't get vampirism anymore. What the heck? It, okay, that guy is punching me. I need more sh I need more healing potions. These guys are all attacking me at the same time. This is getting pretty nasty. Uh, more potions. Yay. I'm also just going to take that other shield potion to improve my damage resistance. Yes. I need lots of damage resistance because these guys won't stop attacking me. I also can't really see that well right now. Uh, where the fuck is anybody? I can't see you. You're all surrounding me. Cool. 
Where are all of you? I think I just killed one of them, but I can't see. I can't not see a damn thing. I'm gonna lure all of you motherfuckers to the light. You're the one that I was trying to kill this whole freaking time. I accidentally took the last shield potion. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, I, I need to kill this double... I need to kill this, this great sword wielder. Damn it. Okay, strong potion. Here we go. I can't fucking heal. I can, stop blocking me, goddammit! You motherfucker! Here, yeah, backwards power attack. Yeah, the fucking power attack. More, more power attacks. Just die! Just, no, not sorcery. Oh crap, oh crap. Don't kill me! Uh, yeah, I have to keep exiting the screen because this game won't let me take more than a certain amount of potions at a time. You guys deal way less damage than that woman that I just killed. I noticed. Uh, you need to die. I, I think all of these characters just started attack. These are, these are most of the afflicted of the afflicted brethren that I had to kill. That guy has ebony freaking armor. He has, a, and he's also using magic. You do not deal that much damage, good sir. Which is why you're probably gonna die really soon, provided you don't do a power attack right now. Yep, that was a power attack. I need more powerful healing spells because now that I have a lot of magicka, it's more convenient for me to use more powerful healing spells so that I can just freaking heal. Oh my god, these guys have a lot of health. Uh, I keep I keep spamming healing potions, so now I'm running out of healing potions. Yep. Fucking die! Alright, I staggered you. Now's my chance because you won't stop freaking blocking. Alright. Swing, swing! God damn it. Okay, blocking, trying to block. You guys, you guys do not play fair. Okay. Oh, god damn it. That almost killed me. Okay. Uh, get more health. And killing you. Get, just freaking die. God damn it. My god. These guys took a lot of freaking damage. What do you have? You have relatively valuable shit. I'm gonna take this because it's extremely valuable. I am over encumbered. We... I need to do something in order to allow me to move. Probably taking a strength potion. Potion of strength. Fortify strength for 30 seconds? Really? Uh, I completely destroyed that this, this dude's armor. I can't see right now, so I'm going to put my sword away and bring the torch back out. I'm really glad that you can have the torch out and use restoration magic at the same time. I'm going to run out of my strength duration pretty soon, which means I'm going to have to use another one. But I used a lot of how many brethren? There's, all, there's only two brethren left. Okay, so at least I'm not doing that bad. I'm gonna save now because I almost died like four fucking times in that one relatively simple encounter against not that many enemies. My character kind of sucks. Kind of sucks because these guys... What, what am I, a level 16? I'm a level 16 and these guys already are using like over the top... They're using Ebony. The only thing that's more powerful than Ebony is Daedric. And none of the human characters ever use Daedric equipment. I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's just the Dremor of the Dremor of Valkanes that has access to Daedric armor and Daedric weapons. Everybody else has to settle with Ebony, but Ebony is extremely effective. Uh okay, apparently I had to spring I had to spring the, the secret entrance. Yep. Pull the rope. I am over encumbered again. What can I do? Potion of Feather for 300 seconds, which is way more convenient than just buffing strength. Even though buffing strength basically has the same effect as buffing uh, my, my uh, encumbrance levels. Uh, both of those guys just got prompted to start attacking me. But this guy doesn't have armor, so I can actually kill him relatively quickly, except he deals a lot of goddamn damage. Once again, I have to run. I have to run for dear life. I'm gonna run close to the entrance of this. I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. Yep. Just at least they can't use power attacks while they're chasing me. That's really nice. But these guys also move really fast. I keep getting lost. You guys have oh god damn it, they trapped me. They trapped me. You guys have to get out of my way. Fuck you. I gotta keep moving. I cannot believe how freaking weak my character is. Why is my character so weak? Where is the exit? There is the exit. It's indicated by the blue HUD marker. I can't go outside. I will spring that trap, though. Maybe the trap actually hit somebody. I need to take some freaking potions, like, right the fuck now. Uh, take... No, I don't want to use that. Uh, I'm going to take a shield potion. Take a, uh... I'm going to take a weak potion of frost shield, and then just take a couple of healing potions. Yep. Let's try this one more time. I cannot see a motherfucking thing. I am wrong also running out of healing potions. 
Still can't see. Still can't see. Gonna exit the screen, but no, no, oh crap, they destroyed my armor. But for some reason, I still have a lot of damage resistance. Uh, probably because I'm using enchantments instead of armor in order to do that. I need to take more weak potions. Gotta take more weak potions and just, just keep swinging. Just keep swinging, that's all I have to do. Just keep swinging, keep spamming potions, just keep swinging, using the only freaking indication this game feels like giving me to, all right, take another frost potion. Uh, you get very close to death. I am also very close to death, like, as I have been. Pretty consistently afflicted. I'm, I'm not even attacking the fucking dude. I, I can't see anybody. I uh, gotta heal. Very little amounts of health. This guy has a lot of freaking health, and he's about to do a power attack. The power attack hit me. Fuck yourself. You got staggered. I need to... Okay, he's staggered. This really sucks. Uh, strong potion of... What? I am running out of healing po Oh my god. No, 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 no. No. I am almost out of healing. I, I am almost out of heal of heals. I am about to die. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, shield? Maybe that will help? It will help because it will maximize my damage resistance, but I need... Oh boy. Oh boy. What can I do? What is a man to do right now? I need to... I gotta do something. I have to freaking do something. Shagoras protection. Starlight. God damn it. Uh, oh no, but I didn't say I haven't saved in a while. Is there anything I can freaking do besides just running for dear life? I'm probably just gonna have to just run for dear life. I gotta run! I gotta I also I especially have to evade his power attacks. I'm just gonna exit this cavern. Maybe he'll start following me. And if he starts following me, he's gonna start taking health damage because he's a vampire. Maybe he'll be stupid enough to actually start doing that. So then the fucking daylight will just kill him. Go ahead, try following me. You are you are completely unsealed at the moment. You're about to escape the the seal that Azor had placed on you. He did come outside. He's burning in the sun. Look at how he's burning. What is attacking me right now? Please, I don't want this situation to be any more complicated than it is right now. I can't believe there's a freaking uh, oblivion gate right next to this place. I almost have fully recovered my health. I want. I'm not gonna. I'm not even going to try attacking this guy. This guy's probably going to die from freaking sunlight damage. I don't want to go after that guy because he has a freaking claymore. He has a glass claymore. Glass claymore also is one of the more powerful ammo varieties. He must almost be out of health. I can't believe how much freaking health this guy has. Are you almost dead? God damn it, dude. Okay. Maybe he just died. I have killed all the vampires in the gutted mine. I should return to the shrine. I'm going to kill this uh, flame atronach first. Because he's not nearly as difficult to kill as the freaking guys who I just who I just had to arduously battle through. Because these motherfuckers would could not stop freaking blocking me for the life of them, which is why they died. Because they were incessant blockers. Recovering my health now, calming down a little bit because I'm outside of a lethal situation. I used every last healing potion in my inventory. That really sucks ass. Which means that I'm probably going to have to make the rounds to all the different towns to get my healing supplies back. Yep. Oblivion Gate. Daedric Aura. Everywhere. 19 minutes, I notice, goes by really, really fast. Why Why are you my objective? I want to talk to the Shrine. Shrine. For your service, take this token. Thank you, Jesus. Azura thanked me with Azura Star. I have a Daedric artifact. Yay! I'm gonna. I gotta go back to Cloud Ruler Temple now. Which I'm going to do in the next part, because now that my time is up at the 19 minute mark, I'm going to end the episode. We made some really decent progress on the main quest in this part, which I'm really happy about. Because it's inside dis I also discovered the Shrine of the Ancestor Moths. I don't have to freaking walk all the way over there again, because it is actually a really long distance from pretty much any discernible landmarks that I could fast travel to. This has been part 49 of... Oblivion and Aspie Let's Play on the Xbox 360. In the next part, I will deliver the Daedric Artifact to Martin 